For this dish, you're going to need plum sauce, sliced cucumbers, scallions, duck breast. You can find duck breast at Whole Foods and radish. So I'm going to show you how to prep your duck. The key thing that you need to make sure to do with duck breast is to trim the fat on the side. Make sure you don't have too much of it, otherwise it gets kind of greasy. Make this duck a little less fatty. Scoring means you're essentially gonna create these little slits in there and that's gonna help the duck skin release the oil. Make sure you wash your hands. Be sure to season your duck very nicely, so be generous. Sprinkle the salt. Using the other hand that didn't touch the salt, we're gonna flip the duck over, okay? Now it's black pepper. So now we're gonna do my favorite part, which is searing the duck breast. If you don't have a skillet, you can also use a nonstick pan, but you also need to make sure that it's at the highest temperature you can get it at, because without the high temp, you can't get a nice sear on the skin. I'm gonna use my favorite cooking oil, which is avocado and coconut oil. It has super high antioxidants and it has one of the highest burning points. See that smoke? That means your skillet is ready. Oops, my tongue's right here. <laughs> okay, I'm set such a dork. Okay, there we go. All right, the second you actually put in the duck, you want to make sure you don't move it around, okay? Don't go, ah, like don't, don't do that. It's just leave it alone, wait a couple minutes. You can check it in about 30 seconds just to see, okay, it's starting to get brown. Once it gets a nice golden color, we're gonna then flip it over to the other side. I covered the duck so that it can steam and cook a little bit longer and make the inside nice and medium rare. Now I'm gonna put in a sauce that's made with a little bit of ketchup, sugar-free jam, a little bit of soy sauce, and water. I'm gonna turn it off. We're gonna plate the duck and make sure you let the duck rest. That means you do not want to slice the duck right away. You wanna make sure all that juice and the moisture that you have in the duck stays in the duck. Now we are going to make the carb-free pancakes. Surprise! They are actually uh, going to be slices of radish. Slice here, make it nice and thin. Sawing motion. I'm actually gonna blanch this, which I'm going to pour over the radish, meaning I'm gonna put it in the hot water and then I'm gonna run it under cold water afterwards. Let's slice medium layer duck. That nice, moist duck, if you feel it, it's super tender and super soft. Radish, plum sauce, cucumber, and then we're gonna find a nice piece of duck or two and place it right on there. And then the scallion. Look at how beautiful it is. It's super easy to make. The duck flavor is great because we've got all the orange, the ketchup, 
the um, soy sauce and the jam all cooked into it, which makes this savory and sweet combination very delightful. Everything looks so beautiful and delicious. I can't wait to try everything. Awesome. So for Chinese New Year, there are lots of cute little phrases that people say to each other to wish each other a great and wonderful New Year. The most typical one is Sun Li Fai Lo. What's another one that you guys uh, use in your family? Ni Ni Niao Yu. I wish that every year you have good luck. Oh, awesome. And then if you see elders, you can tell them, uh, uh, oh, and one more, one really important mm -hmm. one. Lysi Dale. What does that mean? That means, come bring me those red envelopes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for joining me today and watching me make this awesome Peking duck dish that's carb free. If you haven't checked out my cauliflower fried rice dish, be sure to do so. And if you haven't subscribed yet, be sure you do that right away. <laughs> Thanks for joining and see you next time. You should subscribe to my channel. <laughs>